Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Dan the Fix-It Man. Got another quick video here for you. I'm going to show you how to change your spiral cable or clock spring as it's also known in a 2008 Toyota Matrix. Now the first thing you need to do is disconnect the battery. Uh, I'm just going to take off the negative cable here. This is very important as we will be working with and around the airbag. We don't need that going off in our face. Okay, so now we can uh, we can remove this airbag assembly and that's done. There are two of these Torx bits. This is a, a, a T30 and I'm using the uh, socket wrench to help break that loose. And we'll do the and we'll do the same thing on this other side. Again, I'm using the socket wrench just to help loosen that. They are just from the factory, they're pretty tight. You may have to pull outward just a little bit on this plastic part. Okay, and then you can remove the airbag here. And we need to disconnect these two little clips. And you can do that just by pulling out these little yellow inserts. You just lift them up and then these will come out. We'll just pry them out. And then we can set that aside. With the airbag out of the way safely, we can, uh, we can remove this plastic piece here. And so I'm just turning the steering wheel to be able to access this screw right here. We can take that out and set that aside. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. I'm just turning the steering wheel so that uh, I can access. There's a screw on the exact opposite side. Do the same thing, set that down. And down here below is the last screw that we need to remove. And we can set that one aside. Then you can uh, just pull and separate these, this plastic piece, the top and the bottom. I'm going to drop the steering wheel down a little bit to pull off this top piece. Okay, now before we take off the steering wheel, you want to make sure that your wheels are straight and that the wheel is also uh, perfectly straight. And then we can uh, we can remove this steering wheel nut. That's a 19 millimeter. We just need to loosen that and take it off. Now sometimes. Sometimes you get lucky and the steering wheel will come right off. Let's just make sure it's straight first. And if it doesn't come off, this one's being stubborn. Okay. So, we will use a steering wheel puller. Okay, so when the steering wheel doesn't come off easily like that, you can use a, a puller like this one here. and. Uh, as long as you've got a couple bolts that fit into the steering wheel itself and uh, I'm just threading these in and my little polar bag had a few that matched perfectly so I don't know the size but they're probably metric these are probably M8 by 1.25 but I'm not positive on that and I'm just gonna thread those in by hand. Now we can line up the uh, this center bolt here on the puller. We can line that up with the shaft that the steering wheel goes on. Okay, so as long as our puller is lined up here, then we can uh, tighten this center puller shaft. And that's all it took. And we can take these bolts out 
and we're done with that puller and now our steering wheel will come off now before we remove the steering wheel I need to unplug this cable right here that's on the steering wheel itself and then we can uh, remove that set it aside now you can see our spiral cable right here we've got a couple connections down here so this is uh, this first one you can see you just have to push that in and pull this out okay that's the black connector now this yellow connector at the bottom is a little different um, you just need to push here at the end and you can see that presses in and as soon as that does then you're able to slide that off as well now there's just three little clips that hold this in place these two little plastic ones on the side and uh, you can just use your finger or sometimes pry a little screwdriver in there this one at the top is a metal one I'm just prying that up and then the last one here on the end or on the other side is is plastic so so you just got to pull those back just enough these are just these two black plastic clips and this metal clip at the top and uh, there's our old cable now before we put in the new cable it comes with these two little these little sleeves on here for shipping I'm gonna pull those off and this also comes from the factory or comes a line you'll see that there's a, an arrow here on the yellow sticker lined up with a little black mark or arrow on the body that might be kind of difficult to see uh, on the camera but uh, that that's how you know that these are lined up and they actually have it locked in place with this little white uh, piece here so now we can uh, we can just put this on just uh, line those clips back up and you just basically just press it on and then we can uh, move on to reassembly. This clip should just come out, and that's again what, it's just to hold it in place and keep it aligned. So we'll make sure that that uh, stays where it's at. Now on these cables, just same thing, you just wanna line up so you're perfectly straight here and then just press them on like that. And the black one, same thing. Just press that in like that. Um, and you know I realize it's actually easier to put these pieces on with the steering wheel still off so I'm gonna try to try to do it this way and these just kind of fit down in here and then there's a little clip here for that centerpiece and it just snaps down like that I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom one here just kind of fit this in fit this in where it goes snap it together like so you can put the screws back in I realize I should have just done this after taking off the steering wheel but uh, now you know And we can put that bottom screw back in here. We'll check your index marks here. Just make sure everything is, is where it should be. And then just feed those two yellow wires through and line up your steering wheel nice and straight the way that it was. We can uh, reconnect this little black cable right here this green cable and that black fitting and we can put our put the steering wheel nut back on we can torque that down that's a 19 millimeter and you can go ahead and check your manual for the proper spec on that but that was pretty tight before we can reconnect our airbag you need to pull these little yellow things all the way out and then of course we'll just come over here black goes to black orange goes to orange and we just just gotta snap those into place press down and then you can press down those yellow clips on the outside okay and then we're ready to put the airbag in and then you've got these two 
uh, Torx screws or bolts and they just kind of come in here through the side. This plastic shroud is a little tricky. It's almost like they made it too small. Just, just line up those little bolts and tighten them. One on each side. Same thing on the other side here. Just It's a little tricky to line these up because the the outer plastic shroud. So I'm going to I am going to snug those the way that they were with the same socket wrench here. And again, that's the T30 Torx bit. Okay, and then we can reconnect our battery here. And you're done. Um, horn works, and uh, we used to have an airbag light on the dash here, and that's gone away as well. So uh, you're good to go. Thanks so much for watching, and good luck.